how to set a custom domain name at Wix using an independent domain name register like Namecheap, GoDaddy, Dynadot, etc. Let's get to it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So Wix is one of the most popular website builders in the world and you can get started completely for free. But you're gonna notice that your website is a subdomain of Wix sites. And so when you're ready to have your website be something like mywebsite.com, you're going to have to upgrade your account and buy a domain name. Now with this regard, you have two options. You can either buy the domain name directly from Wix, it'll be free for the first year and then it'll cost you $15 every year after that. Or you can buy your domain name at a domain name register like Namecheap, where you'll get a lower price, lower renewal rates, and who is protection for free. Which is why I suggest getting a domain name at a domain name register instead of a website builder like Wix. Now in general, setting up a custom domain name should be a fairly straightforward process. You just jump into like your domain name registrar, update the name servers, have it point to Wix, have everything propagate and it works. But unfortunately, Wix doesn't work like that. So in this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know in order to set up a custom domain name properly with Wix. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So this is my Wix website. As you can see, I have a custom domain name and an SSL certificate set up properly. And that's what I wanna show you how to do in this tutorial video. And so when you set, have everything set up in your account, it's going to look like this, where it's gonna show your domain name right here. Now, when you start with Wix, you can, again, like I said in the intro, you can start completely for free, and it's going to be a subdomain of a Wix site. So we have Wix site right here, and then you can click on this to connect your own domain name. And now what's going to happen is you're going to be prompted to either purchase a domain name through Wix, or you can connect a domain name that you already own. And so we click on this, what you're gonna to have to do is upgrade your account. There's no way around this. You have to upgrade your account or to set up a custom domain name. Now to actually connect a custom domain name, you have two options with Wix. Well, they say two options. I'm gonna show you how it's actually done via support that I went through. But they say connect via name servers and connect via pointing. And so they don't recommend, uh, in most cases we do not recommend pointing. And so you're gonna to wanna to be using the name server method, which is usually the most common method to do this. I've done this with other types of website builders like uh, Google Sites, for example. Very straightforward and simple. These are the uh, DNS settings, okay? So you take this one, NS14, Wix DNS. Then you jump into your domain name registrar. What you have to do is you have to find where you can update the name server section of your website. Okay, so right here with the name sheet, you just come here, click this, and then you go to custom DNS, and then you uh, copy and paste in. There you go, NS14, there you go. Then we take this one, NS15, very simple. We take that, copy, and then we paste that in there and then you click the little check mark, and then usually it takes about 15 to maybe half an hour, you know, 15 minutes to half an hour to propagate, etc. But the problem with doing this route, which is the way Wix instructs you to do when you actually purchase a domain name and, and you actually follow through with this, uh, we follow through this, this section right there, we upgrade, etc. I have my own domain name. What ends up happening is that it works. The, uh, you, cut, you can connect a custom domain name to Wix, but what the problem is, it's not going to have this little lock icon. It's not, you're not actually going to have a secure connection. You're not gonna have an SSL certificate. So now I wanna show you how to properly do it so you have an SSL certificate. So to set up a custom domain name with an SSL certificate, this is what you actually need to do. Now I actually went through the Wix support channels to ask them about this. Like, hey guys, like I did the DNS thing, like you say, and it's connected, but there's no SSL certificate. And they actually told me you need to set an A record and a C name record really simple but it's just weird that it works like this so what you actually need to do is you need to jump back into your domain name and you actually need to make sure it's the basic dns settings for your specific domain name register so this is namecheap just leave it as namecheap basic dns do not go to custom dns and put in the name servers now you have to click on the advanced dns tab and jump over here and then you come down here and this is where you can add in specific records so for Namecheap, it's very simple. You just click this button, and then you just find where it says A record. And then it says type A record, host is the at sign, and then this is the value. And I'm getting the value from this section right there. And same with the C name record. So you just find where it says C name record, and then put in the host, which is www, then the value, which is this right here, 231wixdns and 231wixdns. That's it, okay? And once you input everything, make sure to click the little check mark. And that's it, okay? So it will take, a, like again, same thing, like 15 minutes to half an hour to propagate, 
but then everything should work appropriately uh, and then everything should propagate and you should have a custom domain name with an SSO certificate and this is literally the settings okay so this is the domain name right here it's Namecheap basic TNS and then right over here where I have the a record and C name record and we're we are on the website right now and everything's working as appropriate so it is a little strange that uh, Wix works a little bit differently uh, than other website builders all right so to recap it's totally up to you what you decide to do i personally recommend using a domain name registrar like namecheap uh one because prices are lower so dot com start at 888 a year you get free who is protection and it just makes it easier to move your website service around so maybe you start with wix or squarespace or you want to then try wordpress whatever you have that flexibility uh, not to say you don't have that flexibility with wix but it's just easier because a domain name registrar that's their business whereas wix is kind of everything wix is a website builder a web host uh, a domain name registrar so you can come here to register a domain name if you want to use wix as your domain name registrar uh, etc now the one advantage of using wix as your domain name registrar is that it does make everything work really quick and easy uh, for beginners so there's no techie stuff like jumping here and creating like an a record you don't have to do that everything just kind of works really uh, easily but Wix is just a little bit more expensive so you know, if you want to get a domain name it's going to be uh, either you can get it for free for the first year if you're going to be getting a Wix builder account or it starts at $12.95 for the first year let's just check it out uh, my super amazing domain.com let's just put that in or .co okay <laughs> all right let's put in .com actually so there we go so it's $12.95 for the first year if you're just getting the domain name and then it renews at $14.95 basically $15 a year after that uh, so that's it okay so going through Wix just makes everything a little bit more easy if you're going to be using Wix as your website builder but it's still possible to do with Namecheap and that's just personally the way I would recommend but I just want to you know inform you and just help you make a purchase decision about what is best for you. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to set a custom domain name with Wix using an independent domain name register like Namecheap, GoDaddy, etc. I have no idea why it's so clunky and works like this. I had to spend half an hour of my life going back and forth with support so you don't have to. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. So I'll see you next video. Bye bye.